everyone welcome back to frontend pathsala in this tutorial you will learn how to create a custom checkbox using svg and css before starting i will give you a brief introduction on svg for those people who don't know what svg is scalable vector graphics is a xml based vector image format these are highly scalable and resolution independent that is they can look good everywhere in all the resolutions they have good browser support they are basically text so their file size is smaller compared to png and jpeg these are interactive and we can style it using css and javascript so without delaying let's get started first of all Let's create a label and place the checkbox inside it with a text click here. Now we need to create the SVG in order to add it to our markup. The three most popular vector graphics editors are Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape and Sketch. You can choose any editor to create your SVG. Here I am using Illustrator. Click on Create new and give the width and height as 100 px. Next, click on the rectangle tool and just drag it using Shift key. Let me increase the stroke to 3 points. Stroke is same as border. Next, click on the paint tool. Click on the start point. Hold shift key and then again click on the end point. Do the same thing while moving upwards. We'll get the check mark. I'll just move the check mark to the center. To export SVG from Illustrator, start by going to File, Save As and then choose .svg from the file extensions drop down menu. Click on the svg code. Just copy the xml code containing svg and place it in our html file. You can see how it is appearing in the browser. Let us just clean the code. It is looking weird because I have removed the style from the code. We'll add the styles in our CSS. Let us change the class name as checkbox bg for checkbox background and check mark. Did one mistake, we need to place the SVG code inside label. Alright, let us create our CSS file and link it in our HTML. Next, we will quickly add few styles to the body. Now, we need to hide the default checkbox as we will be using our SVG checkbox. To do that, we will just give opacity 0. Next, we need to style the SVG checkbox. Fill the background color as white and stroke which is border as red. We 
will give stock width as 3. On page load, there should be no check mark. So we will just make it transparent. We'll give a class name to the label as stylish checkbox. Now let us add the CSS display flex to this class name. Let us set the width and height for the SVG. We'll change the font size and then we'll place the text click here to the right of the checkbox. We'll give some margin right. All right, now let's quickly add CSS for our new SVG checkbox. That's it guys. Now you have successfully created custom SVG checkbox. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel.